Drugs can bring pain and despair. They can also bring help. Drugs affect the body in many different ways. If bacteria are causing a disease, a doctor may use an antibiotic or some other drug that kills bacteria. Some organs such as the thyroid gland may not be working properly. It might be the lungs, the heart, the stomach, or the intestines. The trouble can often be helped by some special drug that affects that particular organ. Some drugs work on the nervous system, the complex system that regulates every part of the body. These drugs work in many ways. Ever felt like this? Hot, feverish, achy? You remember the last time you stayed home from school? Well, your mother might have given you a drug, aspirin. Aspirin helps aches and pains, and it also lowers fevers, in part by working on the nervous system. The aspirin tablet is absorbed through the stomach and intestines. Within a half an hour, molecules of the drug will reach the cells of the brain. There it will begin to affect that aching feeling that begins in the muscles. In the microscopic spaces between the muscle fibers, there are countless nerve endings called receptors that pick up messages from the aching muscles. Each receptor sends signals along the nerve fiber into the spinal cord and up into the brain. These electrochemical impulses pass into a lower part of the brain which controls messages having to do with pain. From here, impulses pass to the higher part of the brain, the cortex, probably where our sick friend forms the idea that his muscles ache. He thinks how uncomfortable he is. Impulses race to the parts of the brain that will move his muscles to change position. The messages go out. Still feel terrible? Well, the aspirin will help any minute now. One of the several effects that aspirin has is on the part of the brain that controls pain impulses. Pain impulses still come in, but as the aspirin begins to work, not as many go out. Our friend just doesn't feel the ache as much. Therefore, by careful use of a drug, he has changed one action of the nervous system. Aspirin also works in another way, by making you flushed and making you sweat, which helps to lower your fever. The aspirin works on a special part of the brain that controls the temperature of the body. This is one of the nerve centers that controls the working of your body's organs without any conscious thought on your part at all. When the special brain center begins to be affected by the aspirin, it sends out impulses to the sweat glands, causing them to produce more moisture. When the sweat evaporates, it cools the body. At the same time, other impulses cause the surface blood vessels to expand. They then carry more of the overheated blood to the surface of the body where it can cool. Complicated? Very. And there are dozens of other drugs that a doctor can use to change the action of a person's nervous system in dozens of other ways. Only a doctor has the knowledge to know which to use or how much to use. The wrong drug or the wrong amount can be a poison. For instance, if two aspirin tablets will help your fever, why shouldn't 20 make you well? Listen, don't try it out. Too many little kids have thought sweetened little aspirin tablets were candy and have died. 
Speaking of poison, what would you think of someone who decided to put a bowl full of strychnine into his system? Impossible? Well, certain materials have fumes that are deadly poison. Some people breathe in chemical fumes for kicks. What a gas, huh? Molecules of poison are carried from the lungs deep into the cells of the brain. Along with the kicks come nausea, headaches, dullness, shaking, and other feelings that aren't so much fun. If you breathe in these fumes for too long, you can easily kill yourself. Now most drugs can be poisonous, but when they are used with a doctor's instructions, they can have real medical value. There are two principal kinds of drugs that affect the nervous system. One is the kind we call a stimulant. Now this is a drug that stimulates certain brain cells to work much faster. The other is a depressant. This is a drug that slows impulses. Sleeping pills or barbiturates are the commonest kind of depressant drug and useful too when they are taken properly. When people take downers for kicks, a small amount sometimes makes them feel relaxed and friendly, mellow, but slowed down. If they take more, the person gets sluggish, gloomy, sometimes wants to start a fight, and then See, a brain out of order throws the whole body out of order. Breathing is dangerously slowed down. The heart is very weak. Blood pressure drops dangerously. This collapse may be more than a deep, deep sleep. In just one city, about 450 people die each year from barbiturates. Hours later, the body labors to get back to normal. It's a strange kind of fix. Now, another kind of depressant, both useful and dangerous, comes from the opium poppy, the various drugs that are made from opium. Doctors give morphine when a patient is in severe, severe pain. Codeine is another drug which your doctor may have prescribed in a cough medicine. It has a special effect on the brain center that controls your coughing. The most dangerous drug of all is heroin. A person who starts using heroin gets 